Sagis, welcome to my channel. We're doing the end of the year, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is 22 to the 31st. By this time, the Sun is already officially in your zodiac. Okay, so that's 22 to the 31st. It starts on the 17th, okay? So that's the actual placement. That's where the real Sun is, okay? So that you don't, you guys don't get confused with, uh, with what I follow. So I only follow what is the actual placement, okay? So here we go, 22 to the 31st, Sagittarius, here we go. I feel like you guys will have a point to consider, they say. A point to consider. I'm not sure what you're considering, but there's going to be a part where you will consider something, okay? 22 to the 21st, here we go. Here we go, 22 to the 31st. Here we go. There we go. There we go. The strength card, of course. Could be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> okay. Someone here is trying to remove the blockage between the two of you. Having the strength to remove what is hindering. Someone wants you to open up, to release, you know, the tension. It's like, don't make it more difficult than what it is. This is how it is also. Having a struggle also. Okay, fighting for the connection at the same time. Okay. This is an energy. Let me see the other person. Got a Knight of Wands. Someone wants to, again, this is about to loosen up. Someone trying to get your attention over here also. They feel that, you know, like you're restricting something and they need to um, get your attention. I feel like this knight is trying to get into someone. It's like, hey, you know, it's like, I'm right here, you know. This can be you or the other person. Let me see. So the strength card. Wow, six of cups. Leo feels that you're their soulmate, vice versa for a cost watcher. It can also be an Aquarian. Someone here wants to reconcile, reconnect, you know, this is energy. They finally remove their own self, meaning they know that it was them hindering the connection. They want to have a celebration with you. They want to be with you on different levels over here. Good times. That's that energy. They want to fight. They want to fight for the soulmate. Someone wants to fight for their soulmate here. This can be the other person. The past life karma also here with the six of cups. Oh, look at that one. Five of cups. They don't like other people around you. Look at that one. Cat fight. Yeah, that's why they're trying to get your attention. No, you're not gonna get my boo. I'm gonna snatch that wig. Okay, I'm gonna flip. I'm, up, up. I'm out there. Mm hmm. Ain't taking my man over here. Can be that person that you're dealing with. Someone is not gonna let go easy. You don't, you don't go to the five to the six. It's just, it's just like, this party is going to be a show. <laughs> I'm going to put the stage. This is how this person is. It's like, nobody takes my soulmate away from me. This, uh, or this can be you or them. Meaning, let me see. I want the two of cups. No wonder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two of cups. <laughs> There's nothing going on actually in Leo, but the only thing that's going on with Leo right now is in the seventh house. Is Mars is in Aquarius. So look where your Mars in Aquarius mm -hmm. is, and that's going to be a hot stuff right now. So that's going to be in your third house, Sag, Cap, Aqua. So communication, okay? There's more communication active right now between the two of you. And that's why there's a fight going on. And it's like, I'm going to fight for this, you know? It can be a Gemini also. Oh, look at that one, six of ones, okay? This person wants, wants they, they want you. Only you, okay? Because look at this one. It's like you don't go out with other people. You don't talk to other people. You know, don't, don't, don't make me go Real Housewives of Atlanta over here. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let me see here. I feel like someone is gonna turn knee knee leaks over here. They're not gonna tame their tongue anymore. Mm hmm. Let me see. 
what you need to learn. Oh, what's a divide? Oh, wow, Eight of Pentacles. Look at this. Someone wants to sweep you off your feet. It's, it's just like... I will steal you from whoever you think that you're trying to date because nobody's gonna get you. Oh, you mind. It depends. It's like I put the effort over there. Nobody puts an effort into something and then they just try to steal away, steal them. So consistency is here also. And I love this energy right now. We have two and six of cups. Okay, and the eight over here is symbolizing, of course, infinity. So two of cups, six of cups energy. Amazing. Okay. Because this is a reconciliation to make things work because the strength is overcoming the challenges. The challenge is, Sag, you've been trying to do something out there. <laughs> and they don't like that at all. The Six of Wands. It's just like, I'm going to make sure that it's just you and me here. Okay, look at that one. What's the divide is someone is going to show consistency. They're going to put more effort every day, every day. I'll put more effort or put more time over here to make sure that you're, you know, like you're, you're with me. Okay, Sagis. So let's see where this is going because this is a very karmic relationship here. When, when I say very karmic, it's just like through and through because it's like you, this person keeps choosing you and you keep choosing them. <laughs> and you probably don't even know why. Okay, but we're going to look into that. Okay, 22 to the 31st, Sagis, have a wonderful end of the year. And this is going to be, that's, you know, it's your birthday month already when you watch this. I'll see you guys again. Happy birthday, Sag. Bye.